Hey, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about being the planner and the doer. Now, this may come as a surprise to some of you guys out there, but when you do work for clients or agency work, it can get a bit hectic. There are days where I come in and in the morning I realize I have 18 million things to do and only a short amount of time to do it, and I feel this feeling of overwhelm, right? I don't have time to go to the gym or meditate or have a conversation or talk to anybody on the phone, and I definitely don't have time to sit down and write a plan out for the day, right? I don't have time to think about what I need to do. I just need to be doing it, right? And every time I think that way, it backfires on me. It never works out. It's a little bit like if you've ever driven someplace and you don't have time to look up how to get there, you just go. I've, I've done this before. You're like, I don't have time. I don't have time to look at a map. I'm just going to go, right? GPS is it's not so hard these days, but like back in the day, I don't have time to stop and get gas. I just need to get going, right? And eventually you run into problems because you're trying to do two things at once. You're trying to look at a map at the same time you're trying to drive and it never works out and it just adds to the stress of the day. This is a little bit of what it's like when you're working by yourself, especially as an indie developer or somebody in a small company where you're not just a person who's the planner, you're the doer. You're the doer and the planner at the same time. And it's two different modes of thinking. Every time I failed, and it's a lot whenever something fails, it's because I try to do both at the same time. I'll sit down to make up a plan and I'll think about something that I need to do. Oh, I need to email this person. And rather than just write it down and move on to the next thing I need to plan, make the plan out, I go straight into execution mode. I go into doing mode. And I'll say, oh, I should email that person. Oh, let me just do that really quick because it's quick. Oh, I need to work on that project. Oh, this is really important. I must do this right now. And I don't actually sit down and make out the plan. On the other side, if I'm in execution mode and I'm sitting there I'm working on a project, then all these little ideas come up. Oh, I need to do this too. I need to do that. And you go back to the planning stage and you never actually finish anything because Unlike if you were in a big company where you have one person who's making the plan saying, Johnson, you go over here. Smith, you go over here. I'm the leader. I'm the person who says what we're going to do. And then the other people are just like, okay, I'm the doer. I'm the guy who does it. You have to play both sides of the fence. And a lot of times it helps to have two different modes of thought at two times a day in order to sit down and do it. I find myself... I find myself forcing myself when I come in in the morning to sit down and make a plan and not check Skype and not go on Slack and not check email, although sometimes I'll check email, I shouldn't do, and to just sit down and make a plan for the day. What, do, what absolutely needs to get done today? What did I not get done yesterday that I said I was going to get done yesterday? And write everything down and put it into my calendar. Now, there are times where something will happen and that calendar just gets completely blown out of the water. But usually when I come in and look at everything and clear down my inbox, my inbox is, is cleared down every morning and, I, and everything goes either into an action folder, something I need to do, something I need to respond to later, or it goes onto a list so that I can work on it. Now I'm not perfect with this and sometimes I just get overwhelmed by stuff and usually when I get overwhelmed it's because I've lost I've lost, I, I got lost in the trees, right? I, I don't know what I need to do next and I'm just, I'm moving really quickly. I'm doing the thing like when you're driving and somebody says, do you even know where to go? Look, I don't have time to look up where to go. I just need to get there, right? And a lot of times it could be the way. And if you do work with clients, you're gonna find this. You're gonna find the case that you're trying to please a lot of people at the same time. And it can get overwhelming because when you're giving somebody your full focus over here, somebody over here also needs your focus. And you feel, well, for me, I feel a little bit of guilt because, oh, I should be looking into that too, or I should be responding to that. But a lot of times you have to just say, when they come to you say, when's this going to be done? You have to say, it'll be done next Tuesday. You have to know and schedule it in advance. And it's, it's something that I struggle with. Just the two modes of thinking. Like when you're a small company or when you're an indie developer, you have to be a bit, I, I want to say bipolar because I know that's a serious condition, but you have to be that way. Two modes of thinking. Now's planning mode. And every time I'm planning and that little itch goes, why don't you just go do this right now? I have to say, no, no. I have to sit here in planning mode. And when I'm in execution mode and I get that idea, hey, you know what I should do? I have to ignore that too or write it down on the list quickly so I can come back to it. And, you know, it's, I, I suppose it's fun in a way. It's fun when you, 
it's a lot more enjoyable on the days where I get in and I just I go into planning mode I become the boss for about two hours and then I become the employee for the rest of the day <laughs> that's my own employee of myself and it's uh, it sounds strange, but but it's true. So let me know for those of you guys who work on your own. Do you find this kind of problem? What do you do? What do you do when you plan for the day? Because I'd be really interested to hear that. So anyway, uh, that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.